At least two things are cool about individual bonds and bond ladders. That's next. If new bonds are purchased as older bonds mature, then you get a recurring or rolling ladder. A ladder may be comprised of any sorts of bonds to effectively achieve a self-managed fund. In practice, it's only practical for CDs and U.S. Treasuries because you can purchase these without a transaction cost or commission. So if you have the time and discipline, you can build your own fund, thereby avoiding the expenses of a managed fund. That would be one of two good reasons to use individual bonds rather than a bond fund. But it's hard to beat the expense ratio of a good bond fund, and we'll talk about these in the next video. The second reason to own individual bonds is a little less common, but it's worth mentioning. Last video, we introduced the concept of duration as a measure of a bond's sensitivity to changes in interest rates. A bond fund usually maintains a relatively constant duration, but both an individual bond or CD and a non-rolling ladder has a duration that decreases over time to zero. This means that they become less sensitive to interest rate changes as they approach maturity. That makes them perfect to fund a date certain future liability. In fact, you could continue to buy them for that target date as I'm showing here. This collection of CDs or bonds is called a non-rolling ladder. Now it's time for some fun. I'll give you two facts. You choose the fact that's true. Here's one. Bond ladders can have lower annual expenses. The other. A bond fund is riskier than a bond ladder.